Our top story this hour, Pakistan's Army Chief General Ashfaq Yani may just have known about the plot to attack the Indian Embassy in Kabul. The U.S. intelligence officials were quoted by the New York Times as saying that it's difficult to imagine he didn't know about the attack. The attack was masterminded by the ISI and Gayani headed the ISI before his promotion to the post of Army Chief. The U.S. officials said the agency didn't really bother to cover its tracks as well. The explosives used in the suicide attack on the embassy came from the Pakistan Ordnance Factory. The revelation comes just today after it became publicly known that the U.S. had authorized the use of troops in strikes on terror sanctuaries in Pakistan. All right, let's uh, uh, talk a little more about this with our foreign affairs editor, Surya Gangadhar, and he is there uh, in the newsroom right now. Uh, Surya, this is perhaps the first time the U.S. has named Ashfaq Kiani the present army chief of Pakistan. Uh, the significance is, uh, is obvious, and perhaps the timing as well would be uh, significant. Well, uh, the um, uh, naming, of course, is the first time, although they did have mentioned that the ISA was involved, uh, this is about a month ago, uh, the naming of Kiani is uh, important because uh, yesterday we had uh, the public information known that uh, uh, the U.S. will send troops into Pakistan. And General Kiani had a response to that. He said they will repulse any attempt to send U.S. troops into Pakistan. So clearly uh, there is a divide, there is a gap that is growing between uh, the U.S. military and the Pakistani military. And uh, the U.S. has been uh, not too happy with Kiani in the last couple of months. He's been a little distant. Uh, he is not very forthcoming in, in uh, general uh, discussions and talks that are held. And he has been very clear that the Pakistani army will not be committed in the fight against uh, Al-Qaeda and Taliban in Waziristan until their entire training process is over. That could take some time. And in the middle you have the entire uh, frontier right. constabulary which is involved. So there is a divide here which is growing between the two. Right. Uh, Surya, uh, once uh, Pakistan was showcased as a true ally of uh, the United States in its war against terror, is there a sense that we're picking up right now that the U.S. is losing its grip, uh, if I may say so, against uh, I I over the Pakistani army right now? I think the Pakistani army feels tarnished uh, and it finds there are severe morale problems within the military by taking part in the U.S.-sponsored uh, war on terror in Waziristan and in those areas. So they want a period of uh, reflection, a period of retraining and all that. And uh, in, in a sense, uh, Kiani also represents the view that uh, the Pakistani army cannot be the instrument of the U.S. entirely. Although this is a dangerous uh, mindset to have because the uh, uh, Pakistan and the Pakistan army are funded largely by the Americans. So it's a dangerous line of thought for the Pakistanis to take. Uh, for all you know, the U.S. could pull the plug at some point, in which case there could be a total collapse. So right. um, there's a real uh, crisis brewing in Pakistan here.